Hello and welcome everyone back to yet another episode of Red Cape Sports. My name is Bird Bouchard, so happy to have you all along with me because as you well know from the title of the video, today we're getting into my top 5 young guns to pick up and of course all these players are going to be 25 years and younger. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure in this video we could actually call it top 5 young guns and players 22 and under, but of course... 25 and under just sounds better. So without further ado, though, I'm going to jump into it. So in no particular order, we're just going to start raffling off and rifling off rather uh, all the different players that I'm going to be looking into picking up uh, for all their young guns, starting with Matty Beniers. So left-handed shooting center, uh, currently plays for the Seattle Kraken. Easily could have been taken first overall, but if it weren't for team needs and Owen Power, I'm sure he would have went number one overall, but regardless, you know, Seattle Kraken, first ever pick for the Seattle Kraken, so right off the bat, you know, he's got some some status to that, right? There's definitely some status that comes to that, um, but like I said, just looking at this right here, uh, played with the U.S. national team, uh, had, had a lot of success, you know? This is a guy who consistently was able to rack up the points. Uh, also played for the University of Michigan, one of the elite premier hockey programs in the NCAA. So kudos to the kid, you know, basically in the Big Ten uh, ever since the COVID 2020 season. Point per game player, and then finally the, his second season with them, 20 goals, 23 assists for 43 points in just 37 games. Like I said, Matty Beneers is an absolute stud, and... So far, so far, you know, through just 32 NHL games, he's almost a point-per-game player. So kudos to Matty Beneers. In my honest, humble opinion, he is one of, if not, the better young upcoming players in the National Hockey League. Um, if you want to look at his height, too, that's a pretty big one there, too. Six foot. Uh, we're slowly but surely starting to see a lot of players move into the NHL who uh, don't have the height, don't have the size, and ultimately it ends up hurting them. So, obviously, uh, his price cards, I think that this is more than fair, sitting right around $105 to $110. I've seen it for cheaper. I've seen it for more expensive. Obviously, if you guys do want to go ahead and pick up his cards, um, you know, do some shopping. Uh, don't get uh, completely stifled. Don't get completely, uh, you know, ripped off and burned. Uh, be sure to pick up the right cards. Uh, now, buyer beware, though, because this card uh, is from the most recent... Uh, the most recent release, rather, of 2022-2023 Upper Deck Series 1. So, um, you know, if you want to go buy his card, you can either on one hand wait and hope that just the trend and the fad fades off. But then again, uh, if you wait too long and if he continues to play as hot as he has been, you might be, pardon me, you might be paying a premium. So, anyway, Matty Beneers is my first option here. Moving on, though. Moving on, you guys might be like, are you kidding me? Is this just a homer pick? Why Why would Alexi Lafreniere, like, why would you go off and pick his card? He hasn't been playing well, yada, yada, yada. Well, like I said, um, Laffy's entering just year number three. Uh, he's only played 158 career NHL games. So I will admit, you know, he definitely hasn't hit his stride yet. But you have to remember, zero power play goals. This is a kid who despite being the number one overall draft pick, was basically drafted to a playoff-ready team. Um, you know, just last year, they were two wins away from making the Stanley Cup Finals. So, Alexi Lafreniere hasn't been getting a lot of playing time, hasn't been getting good chances, like I said. Hasn't been playing the power play at all. Um, and then when he is playing, he's playing five-on-five on, five on the third line. So, it's definitely hard to uh, to garner some success, uh, to garner some success rather. Uh, again, he's a left winger, and also on that team you have Artemi Panarin, and then of course last year Chris Kreider ended up netting 52 goals. So uh, it's definitely difficult to gain the playing time and gain the experience needed. So uh, you know, food for thought though. Alexi Lafreniere does have the most five-on-five -five assist on the entire New York Rangers hockey team as we speak. So again, certainly does need to be better. This season alone, only 10 points in 23 games. But, as I move on to the next slide, it's a discount, right? His card prices, when they first came out on opening day, they were right around nearly $200 plus Canadian. So, uh, and of course, that's in the raw format. But, like I said, 
Alexi Lafreniere, he's definitely going to be turning things around, hopefully soon enough. Uh, but also his card, right? His card, this was through a COVID-riddled season, so I do believe that this is kind of like the COVID card, um, and that there's going to be a lot of value to come through that if and when he starts to get his career on track. But, you know, his birthday is quite late. It's uh, in November, and he just turned 21. So he's in year three, and he just turned 21. He's playing on an original six New York Ranger market team. So, like I said, I honestly have been picking some of these cards up. I think that it's a really good time to be picking his card up. He's slowly but surely starting to catch his stride. And if and when head coach Gerard Gallant wants to give him more opportunities to succeed, I'm sure he'll take those opportunities and run with them. Moving on, option number three. Again, this is a card that just came out. But it's yet another left winger, just 21 years of age, big bodied kid, nice kid. Uh, I'm really a fan of Matt Boldy. So Matt Boldy, despite the fact that he doesn't play like in an original six team or what have you, uh, I do believe that Minnesota is a rather big hockey market. Uh, look no further than Kirill the Thrill in Kirill Kaprizov. Uh, we've seen what his card prices can do, despite the fact that he was actually a lot older of a rookie so Matt Boldy has chances to do uh, a lot of damage within the card price uh, for the hockey card market so as I have this pulled up here look no further than this uh, in his stats you know again another player from the US national hockey team so you're basically not a scrub if you're playing that uh, that style of hockey and that competitively uh, from from a very young age so Look at how well he's done. And then, of course, he's proven to be successful even at the college ranks. Boston College, definitely they're no slouch. 26 points in 34 games. And then he turned around, put up 31 in 22. So currently in the NHL, very, very, very small sample size. But after just uh, 68 games, 55 goals. So for a 21-year-old playing on basically second, third line, uh, also much like Lex Lafreniere, hasn't gotten all the... Uh, you know, all the opportunities in the world. So, like I said, Matt Boldy, just 21 years of age, in a pretty good market, has proven to be successful wherever he's gone, including in the NHL with the Minnesota Wild. And that's why I'm a fan. But, uh, you know, if you want to go ahead and look at the prices here, um, you know, even for uh, a clear-cut Young Guns, maybe I shouldn't have put this one in, but I want, I want to definitely focus on the top one because that's right around what his card price is going for right now raw for the young guns right around 66 to 70 ish dollars raw ungraded canadian so i personally believe that that is uh you know a really good price and like the other maddie in maddie veneers again this is from the same set so if you guys want to feel lucky try to pull him you can always go ahead and do that but in my honest humble opinion just go out and buy the card right you're gonna in the long run odds are that you're gonna spend too much money chasing the card so don't go chasing, just go buying if you do want this guy's card. Moving on, I can't believe this kid's only 22 years old. It feels like he's been in the league forever, um, and that's what he's doing, you know. Uh, he's in year five right now with the Carolina Hurricanes. Right winger from Russia, just 22 years of age. Second overall draft pick, so, you know, you guys can definitely get uh, the trend here. But more importantly, everywhere this guy's gone, he's both found ways to find the back of the net, and also pick up the points, right? Uh, whether it be with Muskegon, 58 points in 48 games, with the Barry Colts in the OHL, 72 points in 44. I'm not going to list them off. You guys know them all. Uh, but most importantly, this is a guy who, like I said, everywhere he's gone, he's proven to be successful. And currently, as I make this video, he's also in the top five for NHL in goals. Like I said, 22 years of age, definitely starting to find his stride. Currently, he's got 100 goals, right around 103 in just 300 career games. So, you know, he, this, kid, this kid is averaging a goal basically every third game. So, big fan of Andrei Sveshnikov. Um, you can go ahead and look at his uh, PSA 10 right now. It's right around going for, honestly, it's actually fluctuating right around 150 to uh, around 180. So, that's why I put up these two. Um, because also his PSA 9 is going for right around 70 to 80 ish dollars. Again, if you want this guy's card, go out and do your research, but also go out and do your shopping. 
go out and visit your local hobby store. Maybe you guys can find card prices even cheaper there. But regardless, I'm a big fan of Andrei Sveshnikov, and I do believe that his card prices can can receive uh, a pretty nice premium uh, if and when the Carolina Hurricanes go off to playoffs and make a deep playoff run. And the fifth and final card that I want to highlight here, right winger, guys, look at the height, five foot seven, and I, honestly, I think that's pretty generous. But the reason why I'm a big fan of Cole Caulfield is because he emulates his career so far based on the career that Marty St. Louis, his head coach, had. So there's more to it than just that, though. Cole Caulfield has found a lot of success, uh, a lot of success. I believe he actually has the most goals in the NHL since February of 2021. So this kid's been lighting the lamp again, another U.S. national hockey player. So, of course, from a young age, he's he's been successful, right? He's played for the U.S. national hockey team. He's played for the University of Wisconsin in the Big Ten and had a lot of success, you know, 30 goals within 31 games. This kid's been successful, like I said. He's got the right coach, but more importantly, an original six hockey team with the most Stanley Cups of all time, playing for the Montreal Canadiens. So he's playing in the right card market, he's playing for an original six team. And honestly, I kind of dig the fact that he's just five foot seven. I think it's super cool. I think that a lot of hobby collectors really gravitate towards who he is as a person. Um, like I said, hasn't even played 100 career NHL games yet. He's just stuck at 99 right now, 39 goals. Not too shabby, right? So Cole Caulfield, I do believe, is yet another good pickup. Um, and as I move on to the next slide here, of course, this card price is going to be a lot more than any other of the four guys that you've seen on this slideshow. But you have to remember, you're paying for an original six market in the Montreal Canadiens, arguably speaking, one of the best markets for all of hockey card collectors for the hobby in general. So, like I said, Cole Caulfield true born ta talented goal scorer and that is ultimately why he made the list so like i said there are five players five young guns to pick up all under the tender age of just 22 years old these guys can barely even go out and drink um so like i said those are five cards that i am looking into picking up and i hope that you all pick up some as well because like i said these card prices will not stay this cheap for too too long well, that does it for this installment of Red Cape Sports. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave us a thumbs up. It really helps us out to grow the channel and to reach more people who love sports card collecting as yourself. And just a reminder, if you guys are interested in learning more than just what we put out here on YouTube, down below in the video description, there is a link to our Udemy course. Ultimately there, you guys can learn tons of different things on how to collect sports cards, protect them, and ultimately invest in the sports card industry. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Till next time.